there! I'm HR Leia Jean. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, ang topic na i-discuss ko ay kung ano ba ang gagawin kung ang GCash account ay hindi pa din fully verified after 7 days from the time na nag-apply tayo for verification. By the end of this video, malalaman natin yung step-by-step -step guide para mabilis maayos yung ating verification at ma-fully verified na ang ating GCash account. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel and interested ka sa ganitong klaseng video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking latest video. First, need muna nating screenshot yung ating verification status na we're verifying your account since kailangan natin ito sa pag-follow up ng ating verification. Next, mag-login lang tayo sa ating GCash account. Pag nasa GCash account dashboard na tayo, tap lang natin yung profile icon na makikita sa lower right corner ng ating dashboard. Dito sa profile page, mapapansin nyo na nakabasic pa lang yung account na gamit ko. Para ma-follow up yung ating verification, drag down lang natin hanggang mahanap yung help icon. Then, tap lang natin yung view all articles. At magdadirect ito sa help center page. Under product and services, tap lang natin yung your account na icon. Dito sa your GCash account, may lalabas na 6 topics. Yung get started with GCash, verify your account, account security, manage your account, wallet and transactions, and lastly, yung manage your app. Since ang concern natin is about account verification, ang pipiliin po natin ay yung verify your account. Then, under verify your account, mayroon namang pong 8 articles. Tulad ng get fully verified, list of valid IDs to get fully verified, unable to verify your account, benefits of a fully verified account, how to verify via offline partner, at yung failed verification, what to do next. Since ang concern natin ay magpa-follow up tayo ng ating verification, tap lang natin yung article na unable to verify your account. Sa article na ito, naka-indicate po dito yung iba't ibang issue regarding account verification. Ang una po dito ay tungkol sa status na we're verifying your account. As per GCash, Pag yung status na nakita natin sa verification page ay we're verifying your account, ibig sabihin po nito, yung ating application is still ongoing. Umaabot daw po ng 7 working days ang processing ng ating verification. Since ang nakalagay dito ay 7 working days, meaning hindi kasama sa bilang ang araw ng Sabado, Linggo, at Holidays. Pero, maaari daw magkaroon ng delay at mag-exceed sa 7 working days ang processing ng verification dahil sa unexpected na dami ng verification applications. Kung lagpas naman ng 7 working days yung ating verification, maaari naman natin itong i-follow up. Tap lang natin yung hyperlink na click here to follow up. Then, magdadirect ito sa submit a ticket form. Naka-auto-fill out na po yung ating email address, Gcash registered full name, country, at mobile number. Next, tap lang natin yung your account type. May 4 choices po na lalabas under account type. Piliin lang po natin kung ano ang applicable. Kami po ang pinili namin ay regular account. 
then need nating i-provide yung ID submitted for verification. Lalabas po yung list of valid IDs ng GCash for verification. Ang ginamit po namin na ID nung nag-verify ng account ay yung e-fill ID. Since wala ito sa list, tinap ko lang yung others. Then sa specify here, ilagay lang natin yung e-fill ID. Next, i-input lang natin yung date of last KYC attempt. Para sa mga hindi na maalala yung date, kahit i-estimate nyo na lang po ito. After nyan, i-check lang natin itong screenshot of transaction or error prompt. Then, need naman nating i-input yung details ng ating concern. Ito po yung message na nilagay ko. Hi Gcash, good day. I would like to follow up the status of my account verification. It's already beyond 7 working days and yet my account is still in where verifying your account status. Kindly assist me to fix my concern. Thank you for your usual assistance. After my input yung ating concern, next need naman nating i-attach yung screenshot ng ating verification page na naka-indicate na we're verifying your account. Tap lang natin yung add file or drop files here. Then, magdadirect ito sa ating phone storage. I-select lang natin yung picture. Antayin lang natin masuccessfully upload yung file na inattach natin. Then, itap lang natin yung submit. After natin masubmit yung ating ticket regarding sa follow-up ng ating verification status, lalabas po itong GCash confirmation page na we've received your request. Thank you for reaching out to us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Para naman po ma-check yung status ng ating submitted ticket sa ating GCash profile page, tap lang natin yung help. Then, itap natin yung Your Conversations. At lalabas dito yung ticket na pinasa natin. Itap natin itong arrow left para makita yung response ng GCash. After namin mag-submit ng ticket, nakareceive kami ng automated response from GCash. Yung status po ng ticket na ito ay close na since na-resolve na nila yung aming concern. Na fully verified na kasi yung aming GCash account after 2 days. Friday kami nag-submit ng ticket at na fully verified yung aming account nung Monday. Actually, lumalabas na within 24 hours lang ng GCash na resolve yung aming concern. Since hindi kasama sa bilang ang Saturday and Sunday. I highly suggest na mag-follow up ng verification paglagpas na ng 7 days. Kasi possible na umabot ito ng months pag inantay lang natin yung update ng GCash. Sa case ng sister ko, one month na at wala pa rin siyang nare-receive na text message from GCash. Pero, nung pag-check namin ng account niya, fully verified na pala ito. Hopefully, makatulong po yung video na ito para mapabilis ang process ng inyong GCash account verification. For more tutorial videos na gaya ng mga nasa screen, you can visit my YouTube channel to watch these videos. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Kung meron kayong questions or clarifications, just comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Para naman sa mga mas detailed na questions or concerns, you can reach me sa aking Facebook page, at huwag pong kalimutang mag-like at i-follow yung aking page.